Today at Mullen Machinery, we have a beautiful Asa AGS 1020 AHD. Three axis, 10 by 20 surface grinder. Has incremental down feed. Your permanent magnet chuck. Here's your dust collector and coolant pump. We don't hook it up, we were just testing it. Came out of a local uh, high school. It's 1998 machine. So it's seen very little use. This is all the original paint on it. The spindle runs quiet, table feeds well. Spindle sounds nice. It has an over the wheel dresser. There's a diamond in it. I don't want to pull it because I didn't check to see where we are with the wheel. Oh, I already had it gauge with hydraulics. So now it's just feeding in and out. You can vary your in and out feed with this. And then this is your, your speed. Slow it down. Or speed it up. Then you have your incremental down feed. So to set your incremental down feed, this dial here has a switch in it. So when you go up to zero, that's where the switch is. So you back off zero, how much you want to take off in the pass. We'll bring it down to 80,000. Not in the past until it shuts you off. Bring it down to 80 thousandths. So that'll take, it'll feed down 20 thousandths in increments that are adjustable here. A couple thousandths every time. And you hit auto down. When it gets to the end of a stroke, the handle will cycle. That just cycled about one and a half thousandths. It will feed in. When it gets to the backstop, it will cycle down one and a half thousandths. You can adjust it here. Your stops are on the side of the machine, so far as the table stroke, for the in and out, and then your front stops. Getting near the end of the stroke, you'll see the handle move. There you go. There was your incremental down. It's a nice clean Acer. I believe the new one is about somewhere around 24 or 25,000. This machine saw so very little use. Check this machine out and more on our website, mullinmachinery.com. That's M-U-L-L-I-N machinery.com for all your tool room and fabricating needs. And you're always welcome to come in and see it under power in our warehouse in Farmingdale, New Jersey. Just make sure you call first.